long commute today over, well, we're working at my neighbor's house. And today we're going to be building some dividers for kitchen cabinets. Today we're going to be building some drawer dividers. So our neighbor has, I guess they call it a custom kitchen, which means it's not kind of like an off-the-shelf style like Ikea's where you can just buy drawer dividers that fit perfectly. And she's looking to stop the towels from sliding all over and cutlery from sliding all over and in kind of a rather particular way, as in like each little nook is going to fit the cutlery perfectly. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to deck out a couple kitchen drawers. So I'm just working out the basic dimensions of kind of how the inside divider is going to work. So for the towel compartment, we're going to do six individual pockets, if you will, each for its own set of towels. And the back set is going to be slightly deeper than the front set. So you can kind of do like washcloths in that or, or dishcloths up in the first one, not washcloths, it's in a bathroom, and tea towels and the like in the back half. Uh, drawer dividers from Sarah and Dow. Okay, so we have all our dimensions laid out. We've got exactly what we're going to be building. Uh, now it's just time to start breaking down some sheet material and getting this started. So I'm just building these out of quarter inch uh, birch plywood. So it's just a nice, clean birch plywood sanded on both sides. And what I've done is I've cut one exactly to size. So one piece is exactly to size how I want it. And the other three are slightly bigger. And what I'm gonna do is set up a flush trim bit on my router and just zip around and make them all perfect and identical. And well, it gives me an excuse to pull out the router. tip with projects like this is to just take a 1 16th or even a 1 8 inch round over bit on your router and go across all of your cut edges and it just makes it nice and smooth and especially when you're doing something like small where you're going to be adding linens of any type you don't want it to catch on the edge so that round over bit gets rid of that hard sharp edge that you would find and gets rid of it it works pretty well so there's a little nugget for you So we have a tiny hiccup with my plan. Originally I'd planned to kind of build all the dividers so they could just nest inside without an actual bottom on the divider. But I don't know if you can see there, if you look straight down, you see how some of them have this little bit of a curve to them? That's gonna show up in the actual divider. It's not gonna look good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add a base to this and we're gonna router out a groove around the outside that these can nest in and square everything up to. Sometimes all the extra shit I pile in my trailer really makes up for times like these when you have, you know, a three quarter inch piece of oak plywood lying around that's gonna look good.
all out all the edges to kind of create this reveal for the edge pieces to sit in, I might as well, <coughs> sawdust in my face. I might as well router out the grooves up the middle as well so I can set the internal dividers into a bit of a routered out reveal. Uh, it'll just keep everything nice and square and keep it all in place. <laughs> built. Now we just got to do, well we actually have two of the three inner dividers built. So we just got to build the third that sits this way and then we're actually going to router out a kind of a dado in each one so they kind of interlock. They kind of interlock into each other like, like that. batteries at the worst time always so what we did is we routered out a dado so they could nest together like this and that way our dividing portion of our drawer divider can just sit in place <laughs> So the last step is to actually make sure it fits in the cabinet box itself. Now, my neighbor's been very kind, and as far as kind of this whole COVID, well, I'm really zoomed in here, there we go. As far as this whole COVID thing is concerned, has put everything out on her front porch for me. And uh, yeah, that way we don't have to kind of interact. Contactless work, if you will. at that fit like it was meant to be well well it was meant to be anyways we got one more to make for the cutlery drawer but that is gonna wait till another day and another episode I got to clean up out here and I'm out of material so we're gonna call it a day we're gonna end it you guys know what to do hit that subscribe button like comment do all those good things and we'll see you in the next one Pshaw.